You know, you guys, one of the most influentially people in my life, musically, definitely in the top ten, Ronnie James Dio, we're going to talk about This Is Your Life. It's the tribute album that everyone put together and, you know, for Ronnie James Dio. You know, just when I uh, heard about this thing, I saw the cover of it. And I was like, wow, this thing is going to be heavy as fuck. And I really, really liked it, man. And uh, so I was like, man, I have to buy this. I had to buy it. The artwork in it, not much artwork. I mean, the cover and that's it, pretty much. Every, everything else is like pictures with uh, pretty much all the guests on here with Ronnie James Dio. The tragic death of Ronnie James Dio was really sad. Um, I never got to see him live, and it's really a shame. But... Let's go ahead and talk about this album, okay? Starts off with Neon Nights by Anthrax, which really fucking rolls. Um, obviously, the single for this album is Corey Taylor's Rainbow in the Dark, which is really fucking awesome. I really love that song, but man, you gotta give it to Adrenaline Mob, man. They really, really brought it on this. Also, another one that's really fucking good is, uh, you know. You know, I gotta give it to Doro, man. Egypt, she really nailed it. Also, you know, This Is Your Life by Ronnie James Dio himself. They put it on there. It really does rule. I mean, really, if you go back and listen to the old shit, it's really great. But, uh, you know, I kind of I kind of like what they did with uh, the Holy Diver cover. You know, Killswitch Engage did that about 2007, 2008, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they did it for uh, they did it for one of their albums. Um, I forgot what it's called, but uh, they did it for one of their albums as like a bonus song. And uh, I'm really glad they added it to this because it really, really fit. It really fit inside of this with all of these. And uh, you know, it just it made it that much better. You know, Kill Switch Engage really nailed that song, and I'm glad they decided to put it in here. Also, I gotta give it to Hailstorm on this. Hailstorm really nailed the song on this as well. I mean, what better can I say, you guys? Really. You have Doro, you have Glenn Hughes, Corey Taylor, Anthrax, Tenacious D. People like that on a, on a, on a record towards Ronnie James Dio. What do you expect is gonna happen? The record is gonna be fucking killer. Well, it happened, and here it is. This is your life. For me, this deserves a 9, okay? Every song on here is a hit for me. I jammed the fuck out of this thing. And you know, I'm really glad they decided to put this together because you know what? I bought into it. I bought the record. And you know what? It's very, very heavy. And it's very, very great. And I believe everyone should really own this record. If you're a metalhead, you have to own this. It's a definite yes. Ronnie James Dio was one of the most influentially... He was one of the most influential vocalists of heavy metal during the, you know, 80s, even the 90s, and even into the 2010s for me. I mean, really, Heaven and Hell? Come on. Ronnie James Dio is amazing. This tribute album is definitely amazing. It deserves a 9. Go and pick it up. If you haven't listened to one song, please, for the love of God, go, go listen to this. Download it. Fucking buy it. I bought it. Please go. Go listen to it right now. It's a 9 just about almost a 10. All right, go you guys. Just I got to go. I'm going to go listen to it right now. I got I got to go. Got to go. See you guys. Peace out.